Got some silkworms. Hey, I'm AC and welcome to I Try This, where I try things because I'm curious and yes, that is a spider and a centipede on a stick. Today we're in Shenzhen, located right next to Hong Kong, separated by just a border, yet this place is a world apart. There are things that are pretty common here that would probably cause a scene in Hong Kong, some maybe even illegal. Today my mum and I walk around this hectic city and let our curiosity do the guiding. So we thought we'd start with the basics, one double boiled black chicken with frogs, ovaries and a coconut please. Black chicken and coconut is fairly common but I've never had ovaries before. The image I found online made ovaries look like some alien versus predator situation. Originally I thought this was the ovaries but then they told me that it was this delicate thing and you know what? It was so delicious. The broth was fresh and piping hot. It reminds me of chicken stock, but it has a hint of sweetness to it. The ovaries was like eating jelly marinated in the most flavorsome chicken broth with the aftertaste of a fresh coconut. I never thought I'd say this, but I would recommend frog ovaries. We also had a few other things at Yum Cha, but they were pretty common, so let's move on. <laughs> There were things that I actually wanted to eat, like steaming sticky rice with pork, or you can eat hot pot on a conveyor belt. We're a little stumped on what to choose. Then we saw this. A stall with bugs that I would normally run away from. I thought they were fake at the start, but they were definitely real. The menu consists of grasshoppers, cockroaches, centipedes, tarantulas, silkworms, scorpions, and seahorses. Not an insect they need to learn how to categorize. And then I saw this brave little girl asking her mum to buy her a snack. So I thought I'll ask her what is going on. I'm pretty sure I scared her. After seeing the little girl eat some bugs, my curiosity strikes again. This is like that show Fear Factor, but there's no prize at the end. Just the satisfaction and bragging rights of telling people I've eaten some silkworms. It's kind of good. It's deep fried with chili powder on it. It's really crunchy. It's actually really nice. It doesn't taste like anything but the flavoring. We cruised around the rest of the food market and literally every five steps the smell of the space would change from mouth-watering desserts to somewhat violating spicy seafood. I saw some things that I wanted to try but after the silkworms my sense of adventure had been fulfilled and I was pretty happy to just take it all in with my eyes. After the food market we walked around the streets and saw some things we were pretty sad about. People were selling kittens and puppies in cages on the streets. According to Wikipedia, the commercial slaughter and sale of dogs were banned in all of China in 2020, so I'm pretty sure they were being sold as pets, which was a relief, but the condition they were in weren't great. The silver lining is that people here are seeing cats and dogs as pets now, and it's come a long way from people being able to order dogs at restaurants to people buying them as family members on the streets. To change the mindsets and educate a country of 1.4 billion people can't be an easy task. After a long day of exploring, I was ready for my final meal in this hectic city. We found a tiny restaurant on the side of the streets where they served local dishes and I didn't realize that local meant everything was spicy as fuck and this isn't your Chinese takeaway spicy. Think 10 bird's eye chili in one dish spicy. But when in Rome or when in Shenzhen in this case, got a yup hang choi jok I guess which means to do as the Romans do. Funny how every language has pretty similar idioms. The thing was that the dishes weren't even called spicy food or spicy chicken they were just called chicken pot beef brisket etc i guess if it's standard amount of spicy for them putting spicy on the menu wouldn't make sense it's like when you go to china chinese food is just called food and that's a wrap if you like this i would love it if you would subscribe so i'm motivated to make more videos until next time friends please subscribe